Marcel Tsipanda is a custodian of a forgotten music link to the flow and ebb of the DRC's largest mining company. In the mid-1900s, the Jekamine firm was the lifeblood of the Democratic Republic of Congo's mining capital, Lubumbashi, the center of work, health, education, and leisure. Tsipanda, 74 today, worked as a secretary on the mine. On weekends, he was guitarist for young groups paid by its social club to sing and dance for mining communities. And out of this microcosm came a new music style, known as Jekoke. They bought us instruments, they provided us with instruments, and we would perform on a Saturday, for example. They'd say, there's a town that needs a group to play. They'd send us there, we get there, set up our instruments and play music until the early morning. We came back and the next day we go to work. Jekoke's sound was inspired by musicians in neighboring Zambia, which was then the British protectorate of northern Rhodesia. That golden age of copper mining coincided with the heyday for workers like Marcel, but it was not to last. There came a time in Jekamine, I don't know what got into them, the Jekoke was abandoned, abandoned and neglected. It's like a forgotten treasure. In 2003, the World Bank funded a redundancy program to cut a third of the company's 36,000 workers. As Jekamine's fortunes faded, so did the performances. At the moment, we can't afford to buy instruments, for example. If there is someone who could buy us a complete set of instruments, I could form a large orchestra. Jekamine now banks on cobalt, a mineral in abundance here and key in batteries for electronic devices. Will it pay off for Jekoke? For now, Sibanda teaches the next generation and keeps his suit ready, just in case.